guys, welcome to my channel, and today we'll be making a cake in a mug. I know I've already made one, but I thought today I'd just make one on my own. Let's go. So first you'll need vegetable oil, or sunflower oil, you will do. Caster sugar, or then sugar, caster sugar, if you're back. South raising flour. One medium egg. Cocoa powder. If you want, you can add vanilla essence or chocolate chips. And also, you need one big cup. If you don't use a big enough cup, it will, be, it will overflow in the microwave. So, first of all, what you need to do is you get all your dry ingredients into the mug. First, oh, and you need the milk. Actually, I'm not going to make it in a mug, I'm going to make it in a bowl. So, I've got my bowl. And so you need four tablespoons of self raising flour. One, two, Powder, we'll do the spray you always use for So, if you don't have a tablespoon, you can just use a normal breakfast spoon, but you have to make bigger. And then you mix this, so there's like chocolate powder. Just like that. As you can see, it looks very chocolatey. Sorry about that noise, it's the tumble dryer. And next you'll need cast, four tablespoons of cast sugar. And no, I didn't just go to the shops to buy this. It was already in my cupboard. There was going to be shortbread and the Friday before we left school for her term, but I was ill, so yeah. So one, two, why it's better to make this in a bowl is so that you don't make sure to get rid of flour in the bottom. So you mix that in. And next what you will do is you will add the egg. Make sure you don't crack the egg, okay? No, you don't crack the egg or a rug of flour or a candy like shell. Yeah. If you're worried about this part, then go ahead and get an old store for you. So I'll put this in the sink. Make sure you wash your hands after you use the egg because it is raw. But actually, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use my spoon. I'm actually going to use, I think I've got a mini mix. It starts to come together as like a chocolatey paste or a chocolatey pool even. If I can see this is nice and chocolatey. Make sure you do not like, eat this raw. Okay. So you need three things to 
Really disgusting. By the way, you can go actually go ahead and use your hands if you really want to get dirty, but most people choose not to because you get really messy and sticky. As you can see now it's gone into more of a chocolatey paste than a dot. So now what you can do is get your cup and start to pour it in. Make sure you do this very gently because you don't want to spill it. You know if your cup is big enough if it gets just down below halfway of your cup and then try and get as much out as possible of your bowl just saying again that you don't actually need to use a bowl it's just up to you really but I suggest because it. it actually is better Okay, so now that we have our mixture in, what we, you need to do is switch on the microwave. Don't do that. Um, let's see. Now this doesn't actually take that long, so you will have to keep an eye on it also because it's not freezing power and it will. So, uh, you will need to do it for 45 minutes, I suggest 5 minutes because, yeah, just do it. And I'm going to start washing up and then I'll see you in a minute. Okay, now that I've finished washing up, well, putting stuff in the dishwasher, it's been 2 minutes and a half and our mug is doing quite fine, I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if you can see that, but just make sure you do not open the microwave whilst it is in there because it makes the cake actually go down more. Sorry. Um, yeah, it will make it 
make it go down a bit more because if I put it in there, it will raise. And when air gets to it, it will like flatten. And the more you open it, really, the more it will go down. But you do try not to open it. If it does overflow, just leave it until it's ready to come out. So if it's nearly ready, we've got two minutes to go. And actually, it's nearly overflowing. Nearly overflowing. And I've actually never tasted this without castle sugar because I've only used normal sugar. Let's just see what it turns out like. Okay, so if you want this uh, recipe, what you do is you don't have to buy this, but you'll probably find it online. I got this. This the pointless book, the first one, and I got it for £10. It, not just that, it came in like a package. It had the first one and the second one, which was a pretty good deal because it had a bag and other things like this box as well. And I think that's pretty good for £10 because all that together, if it wasn't in a like, little box, that'd probably be like 20 quid. So at the moment, it's like at the top of the microwave. I don't know what to do, it's gonna overflow. And actually, I'm speaking normal, by the way. What is he, Seymour? Yeah. So guys, it is done. Yes, finally. And it is a little. It's gonna let it cool down in the microwave for a bit because it is too hot to touch handed so top by the way Mackenzie is there hello the tops covered in pee <laughs> I'm gonna try and get out without burning myself okay so there it is it's high I don't drugs. Um, so close that if it is ready. Oh. I do this, she stick in like the middle. All the way down. And if it nothing comes off like this, it is done. This is what it looks like on there. This is what it looks like in the mug. Tastes good. Can really tell the difference between when it has castle sugar in it and when it doesn't. So, um, you can tell it's got like more sugar in. You only taste it. And got a bit more flavour on. So it's pretty good. So that's it for today guys, please subscribe and like and if you want you can make one of these. I'll be on YouTube for forever. I'll be on YouTube forever. Bye, I really hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.